Happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Latasha Brown. If this is the first time tuning into one of my videos, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. If you're back, welcome back and thank you for rocking it out with your girl. Again, my name is Latasha Brown. May you leave informed, inspired, and ignited and leave filled up with hope that you landed in a safe space because this here channel is a no judgment zone. So it's Friday. I hope that you all had an amazing week and I hope that you have an abundant weekend coming up. This is Financial Literacy Month. Today, I want to dive in and talk about why I started our family business and how I started our business with under $500. So I hope that you get inspired by this message and information that will be shared. Do me a favor before we dive in, like this video. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you like this information and this, and this topic today. Um, also leave a comment, engage with me. Let me know if this was helpful, if it was valuable. Let me know that you're out there. Let's stay connected, let's stay engaged. And um, subscribe to my channel. If you like things on this channel, I talk a lot about personal finance, money management, budgeting, saving, earning, you know, and how you can take action towards your financial goals, giving you that inspiration, giving you tips and giving you some resources to help you stay inspired. So, and another thing I almost forgot bang on that notification bell so that you're notified when i drop another video because you will not be disappointed and you don't want to miss out on the goods so i'm excited to grow with you thank you in, adv in advance for being a part of the abundant tribe let's dig and dive right into this subject y'all <music> So y'all, let's dive right into this subject. Why did I get started with our family business? Um, me and my husband, we have a family cleaning services. We started together, he's my partner. And um, I just wanna share with you why did we get started and how did we get started and how we got started with less than $500. So I wanna share that with you because um, most importantly, when you're set out to, and you have financial goals, a lot of times you want to ramp up or amplify your efforts so that you can, you know, meet your goals with that sense of urgency, right? Um, you just wanna, you know, pay off your debt or save money or invest more or whatever, be a homeowner, whatever your goal is. Sometimes we just wanna ramp up our efforts so that we can, um, do the best when it comes to meeting our financial goals but if i could flash back um before we even thought about getting started with our um, family cleaning services if i could flash back right after me and my husband got married we are going we are up on our ninth year of marriage so when we got married we were toying with the idea of starting a family business but you know um it just didn't seem like it was even possible to me at that time because you know that's why it's so important to have that clarity within your finances and just have that vision so that you can be clear and you can see the possibilities in some of the things that you want to do but we toyed and we looked at the idea of starting a family business but we didn't take any action because once I sit down and did the research, it just didn't seem like it was the best time. It also didn't seem like we had we had the, enough money to get started. I didn't at that time think that you could really start a business with little to no money. And so when we looked at it, it just seemed like a, a whole list of things that you had to do. Again, my mind wasn't aligned in um, starting that business and I had a lot of other things going on. So we didn't move forward with that. Now, flash forward, you know, now and today, you know, last year we looked at, you know, I saw how um, the pandemic hit, you know, people were losing their jobs. People didn't know if they would have income. It was just so much going on. You know, you already know how it was in 2020. So we really sat down and I had to really, you know, 
think about it. You know, what if I got laid off? What if, you know, um, we had a loss of income? You know, I would have to pause some of my financial goals, right? Paying off debt, you know, saving money and all of that, those things. So I really took a long look because now, and that's why it's so important that we have um, multiple streams of income. You know, I know that business and entrepreneur is not for everyone, but it's so important to just have your visions and goals in front of you. Because when you have a clear vision, you can see the possibilities and resources and opportunities really open up to you. So we got started, we talked about it, you know, um, we had that discussion and I remember, you know, just saying, hey, this is the perfect time to go ahead and start our family business. Because here's the thing, we have children, you know, if anything was to happen to our employment, we have something to fall back on. We have, you know, that stream of income that's gonna keep us going, that's gonna keep us afloat, even when it comes to building generational wealth, you know, our children, um, have something that they can pick up on, something that they can contribute to, something that they can always grow when we decide to retire. You know, they have, we, we're building that legacy. And so I remember discussing that with my husband and he probably didn't even think I was serious, but we talked about it. We, um, that next morning I got up, went down to the register of deeds and registered our business like i was literally serious and from that from that point on it's been like we're we've been booming and i thank god for the opportunity so that is why i got started you know just so that we as a family can leave a legacy for our children and also build generational wealth and um and ramp up our um, efforts in meeting our financial goals. You know, I am a career entrepreneur. I still work my full-time career. I love my full-time career, but I know that there, you know, there's so much I can, there's not so much I could do with just that one income with my career when it comes to wanting to, um, you know, allow my children to experience differently, experience more, you know, being able to save as much as I want to save and invest and do some of the big things that we wanted to do with our financial goals. So I knew that I need we needed to shift and do something different if we want to experience differently. So we started the business and um, literally, we started the business with under $500. And how we did that, I'm gonna break that down now. So if you have a notepad or even if you know someone that's interested, you know, take notes, share this video out to them to give them some inspiration. But it really changed the game when we got started. And um, we just jumped. And it's, it's been an amazing journey to partner with my husband and have this family business. So how do we get started with under $500? So the first thing we did is once we, um, I had a discussion with my husband and we created a name. The name of our cleaning services is Around the Season Cleaning. Just something simple. We um, got our EIN, um, went to the irs.gov website, got our EIN. EINs are free 99, so we paid zero to get your EIN. And then once we had our EIN, like I said, the next day we went down to the register of deeds and we reg registered in all the counties in our state. I live in North Carolina and I only had to pay $26, which, you know, that's gonna vary based on, you know, your state, your county. And um, what I did is I started with a DBA, doing business as. Um, so I started with that, that was $26. And then I knew that we wanted to go really far, far with this business and I was not gonna take this business as a hobby. So I wanted to make sure that first we were structured like a business, that we operated like a business, and that we had a sound financial and business plan. So I sat down, after I got registered, I sat down and I created a, um, a business plan and outlined our vision, our mission, our, our vision, our mission if I could talk, y'all, um, and just our projections. Um, for 2020 and 2021. Very easy, didn't take me um, long at all because I really wanted to have something to look forward in, something to 
um, look, you know, to, to work towards. And um, then what we did, and that was free. That was just finding a template and creating that plan. And then I created a website. I needed so, a place to send my clients so that they could see that we're registered, we're legit, we're trustworthy. And so I um, went on and got to Bluehost and I'll drop all the links in the um, description. I went on to Bluehost and I purchased the domain in my website and that in Bluehost is a hosting system. So I paid $74 for um, 12 months for that um, hosting and um, my domain. And then I went on to, because I wanted something um, that was um, real seamless, that would give me what I needed for my clients. So I purchased a theme with theme for us that was um, $26. And then I went on to, um, I had to have a booking system and a booking system will allow your clients to go in and book you. It, it just makes everything seamless across board to make, to schedule, to select the services that they wanted and to pay right from that booking system, right from my website. So I embedded a widget in my website that will take my clients to my booking system and my booking system will allow it to like font like a calendar to let me know that I have a, a scheduled cleaning and it's already paid and um, it's already set up. The services are online and it's um, connected and integrated to my Stripe system, which you can set up Stripe for free. And then my clients, you know, they, they, they don't even, if they have questions, they can send me an email or call me, but on my website, it's set up and structured to where anyone could go in and book me. So I set up my booking system that was $30, $30 and you actually can do $14, 14 days free before you pay. And um, so I set that up and then I set up my accounting software with QuickBooks and that was, um, um, I'm gonna say like around 12 to $15. And that was it, y'all. That was it. And everything, um, one other thing, that's not it. I also, depending on the services that you offer, we needed supplies. So I spent about $200 to get us all our cleaning supplies. And so I invested less than $500 to get started in our cleaning business. And we made that back in no time. We made that back in no time. And then what I did after a couple of months, I did go in and form my LLC, which that was a business expense and my business paid for that. So um, it, it's doable, it's possible. You can start a um, business with under $500 and make, and you know, make even exceed um, your, your salary that you make on your job. But it's all about, you know, sit, the way you set your business up, the way you structure your business. And um, it's simple. It's really simple when you sit down and you have that vision and you set your goals that are aligned to your vision. But here's the thing. Had I not sat down and started budgeting, started managing my money and starting, you know, started having vision for our family, it would have seemed impossible for me but it took time it took a process like i had to literally sit down um, make sure that i was managing my personal finances effectively make sure that i had vision for our family understood what i needed when it came to you know paying off debt and saving money and that way i was able to see the possibilities in us starting a family business and it has been an amazing ride. I mean, you know, just um, soon as we launched our business, soon as we started, you know, marketing ourselves and actually putting ourselves out there, the clients are coming. You know, the services is needed in our community and just positioning ourselves to serve our community and our surrounding communities. It's been an amazing journey. And I get to do this with my family. And I get to teach my children, you know, how to earn money. Even when they get in a place where they lose their jobs or they don't know how they're gonna make it, there's possibilities. There's possibilities for your gifts to make room for you to serve. So I'm excited. I will drop some links 
in the description on some of the things that I um, talked about in this um, video and leave me a comment. Do you have a side hustle or a business that you currently, um, you know, you're currently working in or do you have any um, inspiration to start a business? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. And I can't even talk y'all. Let I'm so excited. <laughs> let me know in the comment. Let me know what you're working on. And let me remind you that it is possible. Yes. And guess what? When you invest in yourself, there will be a return on that investment. You have to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and, and trust that God will lead and guide you so that your gifts will make room for you to serve and earn. All right, y'all like this video engage will be super excited thank you for tuning in um yeah there will be more there will be more let me know if there's anything else that you would like to know that you would like to learn anything that even when it comes to some of the things that you you're doing when it comes to your personal finances drop a comment and let me know what how you what's your strategy like what do you feel that's keeping you going along the way in meeting your goals. All right, let's grow together, y'all. And you all have an amazing weekend. Talk to you all soon. Bye, y'all.